Well, hello again. Now I can catch my breath. <laughs> I took a brisk little 15 minute walk on my lunch. And uh, now I'm sitting in on my front porch. Thank God I have a front porch. Just, uh, I showed you some videos yesterday of what we found when we woke up because we didn't get home Sunday <coughs> until about eight o'clock in the evening. And it's starting to get dark sooner. So it was a little dark when we got home and we couldn't assess anything on the outside very much. And we just wanted to get in and get settled. So get out of the way of my plants here. I didn't put them back exactly where they should have been. But, um, we are, um, it's been almost a week. Tomorrow will be a week that Hurricane Milton was out on the Gulf, ready to come threaten us. <laughs> but, um, we decided that we were not going to hang out for this one. First time living in this home that we decided we were going to evacuate not that we were required to vac evacuate because we live in they, the zones go A, B, C, D, E we are in D so even though we live close to the river we don't live in a flood zone and so but when we saw that it was like a 5 out in the Gulf and then it was going to be supposedly a four when it hit us. We had just got over Helene and we decided we don't want to deal with it. So we, we shut up everything, settled the house, got it all together and packed up and we headed to Tallahassee, which is where Tallahassee Monticello is my hometown. I have lots of family there. And um, my brother in Monticello is really still recuperating from Helene because he had some, you know, that not home damage, but property damage. And um, my sister in Tallahassee, she is, um, she didn't have anything, just debris and stuff like that. And if we were gonna get any p problems with the power or anything, from Milton up there, she has a, a Genac. So that would have <laughs> kept us in the AC and all of that. So we made a wise decision to just go up there and visit my sister for the remainder of last week. We left Tuesday morning and um, it took eight hours eight and some hours to get there with so many people on the road evacuating you know it's it was pretty crazy and that no that drive normally takes about three and a half four hours but it was eight hours but we suffered we it wasn't a suffer it was peaceful we we had our kitty with us and then me and hubby my son followed behind us and we took all the cars and well we left my husband's car but it was safe um took the cars and we drove up um and it was a, a fun fair beautiful day it was a day like this going up there and um so we got there tuesday evening and settled in um and stayed there until Sunday afternoon and made our way back here. It was a good time with family, you know, loving on my sister and stuff. And um, I, I was able to work there as well because I work re remotely. So I was able to do that on Friday, Friday and Saturday. So things went well, peaceable. And we it, it was six hours, six and some hours to get back here Sunday. So, it, but it was dark when we got here. But 
We found everything in good shape. I prayed over my home before I left. I'm a person that believes in anointing things with oil. I prayed over the oil. I had some anointing oil. Prayed over the house um, for protection. Prayed. I prayed over the neighborhood that angels would guard around it and protect our neighbors and everything around us. And we got back, I showed you the trees. There were some big, big limbs that came out of our trees and they fell like in places that only and only God could have done because it didn't hit our neighbor's home, didn't hit our home, but right in the middle of it. And all is good. We had our yard man come today and he cut up cut it all up and put it out to the road they're supposed to have a pickup in the next few days or so from the city and um i won't say things are all back to normal because i still have people that are without power that i know and work with so um some of my co-workers are, are going having to go into work and work in the buildings because we have generators at my job and um, so they are working, going into work. So it's still not all perfect. They're lights out. They're thing. This city is, is got to come back. We're Tampa strong, and we will come back. Um, we've been through it before, and we'll do it again. And thanks to God, we're we're all here. Nobody died. Nobody's homes were major damages and stuff um now i had some friends from helene that did have flood damage that live over in pinellas or are further in you know farther out um in tampa but they they're they're all good we you know we as a, a work family help take care of our own and that's what I love about where I work because we are somewhat of a family and we look out for each other. Anything that somebody needs, we're there. So I've been totally blessed through this. And I do apologize that we haven't been <laughs> filming. We haven't been vlogging like we should. But um, I'm trying to fix my bug zapper here. But things are good. We, I just just had some needed some time off and um you'll get this before the end of the week and i'll continue to vlog and one thing i did have to throw out a lot of food refrigerator um especially the bottom half the top half we are we are lucky enough that we put water bottles up there and the water bottles freeze and they keep everything cold so only a few things on the top that got um got defrosted and everything else is good throughout everything in the bottom of the refrigerator so um and it's tough to get things at grocery stores right now so uh we are eating tuna sandwiches and all kind of stuff i was i am able to cook because I, I another smart thing i did is i took my meats with me in a cooler to my sister's and I put it in her freezer and then we ate some up there and then we had I brought some back so tonight I'm gonna cook some chicken that I have that was frozen and uh, so we have hot meals but um, it's 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 good it's all good when I do get my when I go do my big bulk shopping the weekend I will do a haul for you guys and uh, let you know what all I got to restock my freezer and refrigerator. But hubby did a, a quick pickup yesterday of things that we can use just for for the remainder of the week, so that we don't have to feel stressed about going to the grocery store. Just gonna wait because you can't do any Walmart shelves are pretty much empty and he went into Publix into another uh, town where he works uh, Brandon and he was able to pick up uh, fresh food for us to eat through the week so we're doing good but life is different 
I was telling my husband the other day that I don't think life will ever be the like it was before 2020. People, Jesus is coming back and we need to be ready. And this ain't no game seeing all of these things. This stuff is fulfilling in the Bible. All the storms and wars and all the everything that's going on is a sign that you need to be getting ready. Because he's coming back. And when he come back, I'm going with him. I don't know about you, but I'm going. <laughs> I don't want to be here when it get worse than this. So, I'm going to check out. It's time for me to get back to work. Love you guys. And um, go, I, I have been walking. I just haven't been filming. And so, I got a good doctor's report. Um, last week and things are good so I'll update you on that later for right now we love you and there's nothing you can do about it peace out